Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are actually working on this boat once again. Uh, I've actually been working on this boat every day and uh, sometimes twice a day we're going to get some videos. Um, that is not how words work, but anyway, this is the second video today and this is this ship again. So I'm sorry if you guys don't actually enjoy these videos, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and add some funnels to the back of this thing and hopefully make it look pretty good. I don't know if that is um, possible, but uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, there is also something wrong with this thing as well. So if I get outside, I'll show you. Essentially, I put this at the side and we end up hitting our head off of everything. So I'm going to change that so that we can put it in the middle and we can just walk straight up to the helm. It just makes sense to me. So yeah, that's what we'll do today. Let's get on with it. Okay, so I wasn't really too sure how I wanted to do this. Essentially, there's a few ways we could do this. We could have them side by side, so one over here and one over here. Um, but I'm not sure about that. I'm kind of thinking one behind the other. Uh, and that seems like a good idea to me. So, let's go ahead and start building those. I don't know how this is going to go. Um, I'm actually thinking we build it off of this. So, the base of it is going to be this color right here. There we go. Let's go ahead and fix these together. We're going to go round. We're actually going to use these uh, to go round, which makes sense. We're going to go like one, two, three. I don't know, three. Should I say three? Yeah, three. Yep. And then we'll do, we'll, we'll make them all the same, if that makes sense. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, cool. And then we put them all back together again on this side. So one, two, three. And then we attach them all together on this side. There we go. All right, very nice. So that's how big they're going to be. That's huge, though. That is kind of huge. I am sort of thinking on, like, one a vessel like this, they sort of need to be smaller. So I am actually thinking we're going to go with, like, a little bit less. Maybe three. Yeah, three. And then we're going to... Ah, oh, these are tiny, though. <laughs> We've just gone from huge to tiny. But they are circular at this point. So maybe that's okay. Maybe that's okay. All right, here we go. Go ahead and do this right here. Whoop. Like this. Go ahead and put that in. And this. There we go. Very nice. Then we're just going to do these ones. One, two, and three. And we're going to attach them together at the back. Which makes sense. There we go. Yeah, that's about the right size. Then a little bit further back, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Start on the sixth one. We're going to go across three. Yep, this makes sense. We're going to go sideways three. And I think these will end up looking pretty good. So one, two, three. Okay, should probably raise them up. There we go. Am I only doing three or am I doing four? I'm doing four. There we go. Okay, right, very good. Go ahead and fix this bit in as well. And then we can just do this, this way. One, two, three. And then these pieces. Yeah. Uh, and now that I've actually got them in, I'm thinking they're just going to go straight up. Yeah, they're probably just going to go straight up. All right, cool. Because I was actually thinking we'd do it slightly different. Uh, I was thinking that they would sort of angle backwards a little bit, but... uh. I don't think angling them backwards is going to add anything to the design, maybe? Um, but straight up is sort of cool for a steamer. So we're going to go straight up. And we're going to do it in quite bright red. We're going to do it in very bright red. And they're going to go quite high as well. They're going to go like... I, I don't know how high we should make them. Like this high with the red bit. And then we're going to make them even higher when it comes to... Um, we're going to add like a white bit and then a black bit on top of this. Which makes sense, I think. I think this will look good. So we're just going to work on the one at the front. We could copy and paste it to the back and that's fine. All right, there we go. Keep this going upwards. Come on. Turn it sideways. Good. Very nice. Turn it sideways. Whoop. There we go. And fix them all together. All right. Grab this square. Good. Put this piece in. And that to me looks amazing. That looks really good. Um, yeah. So going off like what normal ones look like in real life, I think they usually have like a white, a white line. And then they have, um, like a black bit on top of that to sort of seal it off. Which makes sense, because I think that looks good. But anyway, let's go ahead and fix this in. There we go. Very nice indeedy. Okay, perfect. Go to this side, do the same thing. There we go, and there we go. Alright, awesome. And then finally, on top of that, we need to add some, like, dark grey again. So, go ahead and smack some of this on there. One, two, possibly even three. There we go. Do the same thing here. Same thing here, and then fix the rest of them in as well. There we go. One, and this one, 
and then fix all of these together like this like this and like this and we're good all right nice what does that even look like let's spawn it in and we'll see here we go yeah you know what not bad not bad at all that actually looks fine i don't know whether i want it to be taller or or whether i should just make the bottom bit more red in fact the bottom bit should all be red let's just do that here we go red 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 there we go red and that's it yeah that actually looks way better i think at the very bottom though I will have a little bit of this color. There we go. Yeah, that totally works. Also, didn't notice this last time. I put a hole in this by accident. Anyway, that as a funnel looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and... Oh, wait, no, we should do the top piece too. Uh, really, this should be filled in. So let's go ahead and fill it in to begin with. There we go. Uh, just like that. That's okay. We might actually end up putting some fluid ports in as well. Uh, since we do need exhaust coming out of the top, let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Um, let's just have like a, I don't know, a few of them, like a few little sets of them. Uh, and I think that actually looks okay, which is perfect. Do I want it to be like angled off or anything? I don't think so. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, so we're going to grab this entire piece. We're going to go downwards. All right, upwards just a tiny bit. And we're going to copy this. There we go. We're going to move it backwards and we're going to paste it right here. Very nice. And we're just going to merge this down. All right, awesome. We do then need to paint this piece. But that's okay. Yep, there we go. All right, red though. Red, not white. All right, awesome. I think I might actually move them both backwards. Yeah, I think I will. All right, cool. So let's make this a little bit bigger. Grab this entire piece. Cut it. We'll move it backwards slightly to about there. All right, awesome. Merge these down. Oh, what, have, what did I miss? Oh, I broke something. Hold on. We need these pieces in. There we go. Very nice, very nice. And we need to do all of these ones. Because I didn't copy them by accident. Never mind. All right, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. I like it. Awesome. Uh, right, so with this piece right here, we need to sort of seal it off. We do. We really do. So um, let's go ahead and grab something like this. Here we go. Flip it over. Do this backwards. All right. And then from there, we can literally just do something like... Um, where are they? These? In here like this, sideways. And I guess we could do something like this. Ooh, that makes it look a bit weird, but actually at the same time, not bad. Looks okay. All right, cool. Good. Yes. Oh, great. Okay, this is perfect. All right, fill all of these in. We obviously need to delete these downwards. All right, okay. Not necessarily all of them though, but the exhaust is going to go through these, so... We're going to have the exhaust come up. It's only going to be like two engines. So we're only going to have one exhaust. That makes sense. Okay. And the same with this one as well. One exhaust. And that obviously needs to go down through the floors until we get to the bottom, which is down here, where the engine's going to go. So that's okay. Right. With this one, we're going to delete this piece. And we're going to delete this piece. And that's fine too. All right. Pipe. Let's go ahead and seal this off, kind of. All right. White. Go ahead and put this in like this. Up to the tippity top. And we'll literally just leave it in here for now. That's okay. Do the same thing on this one. Down to the bottom. There we go. And that's fine. So whenever we need to put engines in, we can totally just put them in. And that'll be okay. Good. All right, go ahead and paint this piece. And paint this piece as well. And I think we'll be good. Yes. Oh, this is awesome. This is actually really, really good. Uh, I'm thinking maybe the deck up here should be green too. Maybe that should actually be green. And we should actually put, like, fences up here and stuff. Spanner came up with the idea of doing that. But, like, I don't, I didn't know whether it was a good idea. But actually, now that I've thought about it a little bit, maybe it's a good idea. Maybe it'll work. Yeah, cool. Uh, so, I'm actually going to put some fences in, some rails. And I'm assuming that it'll be okay. I don't really know, though. So, I don't know. We'll see. Right, let's go ahead and put in a diagonal. No, um... I guess we actually start with, like, this piece. Yeah, like this. We're going to take it sideways. Uh, we need some diagonal this stuff to go this way. One, two, three, oh, four, f yeah, to about there. Then we want this piece attached onto there like this. And then we can just have it straight across the back, and that'll be fine. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. There we go. All right, cool. 
Leaving this bit out is probably okay. So let's just go ahead and do something like this. Whoop. There we go. And we'll paint these bits afterwards. Alright, makes sense. Good. Let's go ahead and grab these real quick. There we go. And we're just going to do this all the way down the back. All, all the way down the side. We will be changing these soon though. Uh, and that's fine. So go backwards like one more. Grab one of these pieces. Sorry, one of these pieces. Go ahead and put it right there. Actually, delete this. Put it there. Uh, hopefully this will work. I don't know though. I don't know whether it will. It'll come out too much, won't it? Yeah, it will. Okay, so we've actually got to go from like here. <laughs> Which kind of sucks a lot, but at the same time, if it works, it works. Alright, delete this. There we go. I don't want to have any like pivots or weird things going on. So this does make sense. It does. Alright, grab this. Okay, put it in right here. There we go. And then we'll just have it sort of go this way from here. Yep. Yeah. And then from here, we can actually go fully diagonal, which is amazing. There we go. Okay, good. Go ahead and grab this. Drag it side. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. There we go. Drag it sideways. And then we can actually use this diagonal to go all the way to the edge. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we use one of these pieces to attach it to the thing. There we go. All right. Awesome. That actually totally works. It totally works. We're going to color in these pieces um, as we go. Realistically, we should do it like this, though. Yeah. All of these pieces should be painted, too. And then... Uh, I don't know what to do with this area. I don't know what to do with this area. I'm going to leave that like that for now. We're going to paint all of this. Yep. There we go. And we're going to paint that. We're going to paint all the way down here to this point. All right. Very good. So... That, to me, actually looks pretty good. We need a way of getting up there, and that's fine. We can totally do that. Um, we need some seats and stuff to go on the top deck as well. And other than that, I think it's actually fine. What I am going to do, though, is I'm going to go downstairs. And we're going to start putting windows in down here. All right, if that's in the right place, which I think it is. All right, down one. Okay, very nice. Put that there. This is going to be great. This is going to be amazing. All right. Across three. Let's go ahead and put this in. Across three again. Put this in. Okay. Then we'll start with this one. All right. Good. Across three. Yes. Across three. Yes. Across three. Yes. And again. Yes. And that's okay with me. That actually looks pretty good. All right. Awesome. Hopefully I'm doing this on both sides, which I think I am. <laughs> I'm hoping that I'm doing it on both sides. There we go. All right. Cool. This is good. This is very, very good. Awesome. Yes! Oh, dude, I'm really loving the way this thing is actually looking right now. I really am. This is really, really cool. Um, as for this bit right here on the front, we can't actually get there. So maybe it is worth just, like, barriering this off. All the way around, like this. And then just jugging it. So it's that color instead. And maybe that makes sense. To be fair, that probably does make sense. So let's do this. Yep, paint all of these. And if you're wondering, I'm not going to leave these all as straights. I'm going to put, like, separating pieces in. Um, but that can happen later. That's fine. Um, but for right now, I think this actually looks great. Let's just check one thing. Uh, where does this actually go to? That goes to there and those two on the... Okay. All right, delete this. We're going to put it on W and S. We're going to put it on W and S. So it goes to here. It goes to here, and then it goes to the two on the back. This one, and this one. Alright, awesome. Good. Now we can actually drive it from inside of here. I'm going to put in some sort of tank system, so that we can actually turn on the spot using these two on the sides. Uh, that seems like a good idea to me. Um, but for now, we're just going to make this sticky. And, um, yeah, that's it. That's all we need to do. Alright, awesome. Uh, I did say I was going to do this today. We're not going to do it today. Uh, I didn't think I was going to do the top section just yet. But um, let's go ahead and spawn it in. Get it moving. And um, yeah, I guess we'll see what it looks like as it's moving. Because it's quite cool. It is really cool, actually. Alright, connect on. Go. It rears up a little bit. And that is true. Let's slow it down. I want it to be kind of flat in the water. So let's slow it down quite, quite a lot. Um, and I think eventually we'll get some sort of stability in here. And it'll look really cool. It'll look really, really good. 
Anyway, uh, right now, I think we are gonna stop for today. I wanna say thank you guys very much for actually, um, following this challenge. Challenge? Following this build. Um, it's actually really cool that you guys are actually taking part and, and chatting a lot in the comments. Um, I appreciate you guys a lot. Hopefully you guys enjoy what we've done today with the funnels. I think they look okay. I was gonna slant them backwards, but I think they look alright the way they are. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, just as a side note, we could actually put the engines on the inside of here. We could put them on the inside of the funnels, then we don't need to do loads of pipe work. Kinda true. Kinda true. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.